Pag sinabi mong modern classic na motor, wala na sigurong mas may pusong binuo sa genre na ito as well as Triumph. Eh, ganun eh. Sila talaga yun eh. Dami nilang history behind the bike. Dami nilang heritage. Basta modern retro from yung bobber nila to the Bonneville na nasa Truxton and Speed Twin, napulido na nito ng Triumph. Andyan na sila na walang ka-effort-effort. Huli agad. Dahil dito, sa naituring heritage, gumawa po sila ng Scrambler noong 2006 and instantly tilanggap agad ito ng tao. May karapatan talaga. And from 2006 onwards, yung pagsawsaw sa off-road naging inevitable na. Noong nagka-street twin ang Bonneville, natural na sunod na hakbang ay magka-street scrambler. Pasok 2017 kung saan ito nanganak. At eto na tayo ngayon. Welcome po sa Makina Motor Features. Yung street scrambler ay parehong may water-cooled parallel twin as the street model at may makina na nakaipon ng reputation bilang isang solidong, reliable na engine. Huwag mo nang asahan ng isang barumbadong balasubas na makina. Rather, expect mo ang isang makina na chill at relaxed. Ang pag-ride ng street scrambler, di mo tutuntunan ng adrenaline ng hatawan. Pero may rush ka pa rin at thrill dahil nakasakay ka sa isang classy, cool, and comfortable bike. Flat yung torque curve nito at pwede kang bumabad sa gear and linear yung alis mo na walang stress. Yung street scrambler medyo sanggol pa ito at wala pa tong long term feedback na lumalabas. Pero kung basihan ay ang mga release ng Triumph recently, kung mag intelligent guess tayo, masasabi ko na parang wala naman lalabas na topak yung bike in the long run. At least hindi level na yung tipong may mga recall na units. Single overhead cam siya, sana double overhead cam pero modern and current ito and direct to the point and no nonsense in terms of design. Brake! Try the rear first! I'm slamming on it really hard. I'm getting a bit of ABS working okay, working fine. But the stopping power at the rear is something that I would expect coming from that size of a disc. Nice and safe. You're not going to get any action star fishtail over there. Now, since this is a scrambler, maybe I think it would be good if, you know, they had um, an option to take out the rear ABS when you're going off-road, right? Front brake this time. The front forks are dipping more than I would want to. That would be a nice thing to see, adjustable forks. There you go. ABS working fine. So it needs a lot of pressure for the ABS to really work. So again, make sure you got good tires as well. We're on 40 kilometers per hour. Right at the hump. Yep, working fine. Great, good job. Yep, brakes are working fine. Go for both now. Good stopping. Get faster again. Yep, good, good breaking, good breaking. So yeah, if there's anything here that, you know, I would probably mod or upgrade, I'd get some forks where I can adjust, make it a bit more stiff. So since the front wheels are dipping a bit, and um, yeah, it is the way it is. So again, this is a scrambler, so off-road capable. Definitely, you're gonna expect a bit more play at the front. But if you are gonna use this more for the city, for the road, then adjustable forks to tune it more for the street would be awesome. Otherwise, you're gonna just have to deal with the dipping at the front forks when you brake hard.
So, ba't nagkaroon ng street scrambler? Di ba sapat na ang scrambler lang? Well, ang nangyari kasi, despite na kaya dapat mag-offroad ng scrambler by definition at kaya naman talaga ng Triumph Scrambler ito, hindi ganun karami ang gumamit nito pang sabak sa off-road. Di siya naging first choice pa, di ba? Yun ang nangyari sa madlang riders. So, naisip ng Triumph, ah okay, gawa tayo ng street scrambler. Scrambler pa rin siya pero pang urban on-road adventure. Gearbox, sana 6 gears pero ang meron tayo ay 5. Pwede na rin, ang importante, click into play sa mga gears at walang sabit. This is one of the best-selling bikes for Triumph. We're talking about the Scrambler. They sold over 10,000 units since 2017. So what are the updates? What have they done with this compared to the older Scramblers? It's an emission update. So we are now at Euro 5. And to achieve that, what did they do? They had some updates with the uh, catalytic converter. Of course, the air system. There's now a secondary air system in there. They also changed the modes and maps in this bike. Now, why did they do that? They adjusted everything because when you fiddle around with a cat as we go up with the emissions so right now we're at euro 5 things get choked up i've heard of other bikes we're in as we go along like for example the euro 3 engine will not overheat and then a few years later that euro 4 euro 5 that engine is now heating up so they had to fix out the, the airflow the intake as they choke things up over there now the scrambler if we compare this with the older version or the older model this is actually heavier by two three kilos why is that because of the changes that they did with the cat with that secondary air system over there and the silencer. Yes, it's heavier, but you got some updates here and there. So I think it's a pretty good trade-off. In terms of quality, one of the favorite things that I love about this bike is the seat. You know, sometimes you gotta let your hands feel the bike, feel the seat, right? You can feel it. This is very, I don't know, very pleasurable to my hands. When I touch this, it just feels very, very good. It's like I want to rub it all day, you know? Now, in terms of comfort, what I have noticed in terms of where certain areas are more stiff and then it just softens up in certain areas, in the bum area, this area is where I can feel that the foam is a bit more soft, which is, you know, good. Here is where it kind of stiffens up just, just a bit. So over at your tailbone, this part really goes down really nice soft part. Even on the side, this is pretty good quality. It's not one of those cheap, shiny, plasticky seats that we see in other bikes. Now, in terms of the rear, I would change this. This looks pretty regular. This too, I put something smaller, more sleek. This part is plastic. Now look at that sheen. I like how it softly disperses the light. Here are your shocks. You got two shocks here. In terms of the leg shield, and is it doing a good job? To some people, it depends on how tall you are. If you got long legs, there's a tendency for you to sometimes get your leg closer to this part, you know? And sometimes, depending on the length of your leg, you just end up being more open. So yeah, that's the thing with scramblers with any with high pipes. You, you have to reinforce this part so it doesn't burn your legs, you don't feel too much heat. This is a decal of sorts, but it's not a cheap decal. In fact, if I try to make it cut cut, I can't. I mean, I'm trying. So I'm not sure, I can't see, but maybe there's a top coat over this or something, I don't know. Nice touch, having the words of Triumph on the gas cap. Nice cool touch over here, I like this part. The grips are also nice. In terms of the quality of this part, it's all right. This, um, some people at a glance may feel that, hey, is that cheap material? But if you come closer, you take a closer look, you'll see That is, it is not cheap material. Let's take this out so we can appreciate it. Because it feels good to peel things, right? Ooh, this is so satisfying, look. Uh, pretty straight up, this is what's gonna get you through the gauge. This is mode, we're mode. So we're in road right now. You press that, you are now in off-road. Press it again, you are on rain. Let's press I right now and see what we get. Okay, so you got your trip to fuel consumption. That is the distance you have left before you need to gas up. You got your time, your RPM, TTC is on. Let's listen to the horn. Meep. Meep. It's alright. I think uh, a, a meep sound with a scrambler is okay. Yeah, I'm not demanding any other sound. It just, for me, fits. Let's fire it up. So again, since this is a Triumph, you can't just turn it on on its own. It's not about having the side stand up or if you're in gear or not. You gotta press the clutch and then you can turn it on. It's their thing. And this is what it sounds like.
terms of the light, no LED, no LED signal. It's pretty much it. I can live with this headlight. I have no problem with this. This one's got to go. I'm going to change that. The little details, close-ups. This is this is pretty regular. I mean, compared to what we have with the Thruxton, we're in the small details are just, you know, it's pretty impressive. I'm sorry for using the Thruxton as a comparison, but it's just that, you know, it's my favorite favorite Triumph bike of all time. Welds here are pretty consistent and good, nice and even. Good job. Levers are nice. Beefy levers. I kind of have mixed feelings for the mirrors. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna change it or not. I mean, it looks classy, fits the bike, round, long stem. It's not flimsy or it looks like it's gonna break off like with other mirrors. Cause this is pretty thick. This is, this feels beefy, right? But I'm just not sure. Maybe I'll keep it. Got, look at the back, got some metal over there. Nice and sturdy too, when you adjust it. It doesn't have those cheap screws where you can have some loose threading issues. So let's take a look under the seat. Everything's in order, harness is in place. There's nothing messy looking around here. Electric tape is done well. Yep, so that's that's what it looks like under there. What's also cool about Triumph is that they have Metzler tires right off the shelf. And if you guys know me, I appreciate and respect Metzler a lot. Very good tires, very good brand. Of course, they're calling it a scrambler. And they also added the word street scrambler without them actually adding the word street to scrambler just by looking at it one can tell that this is really going to be geared more for the urban environment i'd do some light off-roading with this i mean yeah it looks like you know scrambler off-road yeah you got your dual sport tires dual sport tires spoke wheels like looking at the forks and the shocks you know the only thing is the reason why i wouldn't do hardcore off-road with this is because of the clearance that you have here right we do our chinellas check there you got that much clearance more for light off-roading and more for the urban environment. And I guess the guys over Triumph realized this too and said, okay, to be clear, let's call this a street scrambler. Consumo sa gasolina is impressive. Sa tipid mode, kahit dito mag 35 kpl. Yung walwal naman niya, low 20. So if you're gonna average it, maybe around 20 to 30. So pretty good. So yung 12 liters mo na full tank, malayo-layo rin ang mararating. Yung handling and ride ng street sa konteksto ng chill ride at hindi MotoGP ay maayos. Yes, given na cool na cool ang dating mo dito pero bukod doon, long rides dito, komportable siya. Isa sa naiba sa Luma ay naka 19s yung gulong natin sa harap ngayon. Galing ito 18s. Sa performance, medyo negligible na yung difference. Mas mararamdaman mo yung difference aesthetically sa forma sa itsura. Now, dahil nga sa gantong configuration, medyo hindi magiging pang twisties yung bike na ito. Mas pang cruise na derechuhan. 13 kilos po ito at sa segment niya medyo may kabigatan siya. Pero since yung handlebar niya mataas at wide, paganda ang weight distribution niya at mababa ang seat. Mas magang ang pagdala nito over sa numbers na pinapakita niya. Magaang pa rin dalhin. Mga pwede improve yung suspension nito, medyo malambot at mayroon pa tayo for upgrades and improvement. Yung lakas para sa iba sa segment na ito, baka mabitin sila. Pero minsan, wag yung motor ang ibahin, ba? Maybe yung perspective mo ang pwedeng baguhin. Pwede mo tignan yung bike na ito bilang isang tagadala sa'yo sa pupuntahan mo in a gentle, chill manner. Hindi yung isang raging speed maniac na motor. So sa 120 km per hour, cruise lang tayo, ox na ox at makakatagal ka sa ride nang hindi ka mas stress agad. Kahit na upright tayo dito at sakop mo lahat ng hangin. Kung lalarga ka ng malayuan, marami rin tayong choices for accessories para mamount mo ang luggage mo. Adventure, malayuan, matagalan, game. Yung mga ibang pluses natin dito, ride by wire na siya. Siyempre may ABS, tapos pwede mo rin itong patayin kung medyo napadpad ka sa off-road. Meron siyang traction control. So kahit klase lumain yung dating niya, meron pa rin siya mga modern practical safety features. Ride mode, meron tayong dagdag na rain and road. Kaso since chillang naman yung motor na to, ito ka na sa pinakamalakas. I-road mo na all the way. Maraming pwedeng igusto sa motor na ito, lalo na yung fact na yung variants ito ay sub 1M lahat, from a low of 795,000 to a high of 835,000. Kulay lang ang rason sa price differences nila. Tandaan ninyo, Triumph ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Sagad to sa kultura, sagad to sa heritage, sa mundo ng motor. Oo, lakas at pwersa, mas ma-appreciate mo sa ibang motor sa segment na ito, pero pag nakasakay ka na sa Triumph, marirealize mo, that speed is not everything. Mas marami ka pang ma-enjoy sa motor. Ito po si Zach of Makina Motor Features. Ciao!
Thank you.